That fire took place right here where I'm standing in Lockwood and in an instant flipped life upside down for owner of Whole Hog Breakfast Sandwiches, Garrett Halsey. It was scary and devastating. This was the scene March 31st when Whole Hog Breakfast Sandwiches went up in flames in a matter of minutes. Garrett Halsey had left his food truck to go shopping with his kids. It was pretty shocking because the whole sides of the trailer were all burnt out. It looked pretty bad. It looked pretty bad. Bad news for any small business owner, but even worse for Halsey. You see, the camper also had living quarters and doubled as his home. In an instant, everything he had built was gone. It's hard to say I've, I've sat down and, and put a number to it because I kind of don't want to know in some cases, exactly how much I lost. But I mean, it's everything I owned was in that trailer. At some point it did kind of set in that later that night that, you know, everything I have and, you know, everything I've accumulated and worked for was was up in smoke. But Halsey is used to overcoming adversity. Whole Hog Breakfast Sandwiches started with a brick and mortar location in downtown Billings, but then COVID-19 arrived, taking a toll on restaurants everywhere. Halsey adapted and took the restaurant on the road, a business decision that was working. He spent summers set up at the KOA campground and winters out on the property of Planet Lockwood, but now he'll have to pivot again. He's one of those people that even days after it, the incident happened, I saw him at the mall and he was still smiling and just so cheerful. Even though you knew that he was going through a lot. He's such a, a inspirational person. Sierra Craven is one of Halsey's most loyal customers. I was worried about him and his well-being, of course, and you know, that's his livelihood. That's where he lives. He's a father and a small business owner. It appears an electrical issue sparked the fire. Halsey estimates he lost at least 20,000 in equipment and is still unsure what insurance will cover. Despite that, he's looking forward, vowing to bounce back yet again. As far as things go, you know, you can't get too down and, and out about things you know you kind of just got to keep picking yourself up and keep going i'll find another way and uh i know the people out there are, are kind of ready for it so we'll get back to it in billings phil van pelt mtn news